Problem number two is asking us to write what we know about each of the parameters listed based on the graphs. And you can support these answers with numbers, lines, inequalities, or verbal justification. Okay, so simply, the first one, M1, is in that red line. What do we know about M1? Well, we know it's the slope in the line y equals mx plus b. And we know it's undefined because it's going straight up and down. It's not a positive slope. It's not a negative slope. It's not a zero slope. It's what we call undefined because um, it happens to be parallel with the y-axis. M2 is also a slope, but it says the slope of the line y equals m2x plus b2. And m2, we know that it's negative. And we know it's negative because it seems to be decreasing from left to right. It's like I'm going, if I'm going from left to right, I'm going downhill. Finally, m3 is also a slope. It's the slope of the third equation, the blue one, y equals m3x plus b3. And just like the black one was negative because it seems to be going downhill, walking left to right, this one seems to be positive or increasing because it is moving from left to right. We're going up or uphill. Finally, let's look at the b's. So b1 is the y-intercept for that red equation. And it is also undefined. It doesn't exist because, because the red line is parallel to the y-axis, y it will never inter intersect with the y-axis, and so it will never create a y-intercept. B2 is where that black line, the y equals m2x plus b2, crosses the y-axis. And it's positive because it intersects above the x-axis, so that must be positive. Similarly, B3 is the y-intercept of that blue line, y equals m3x plus B3. And B3 is negative because it's below the y-axis, and so the value of B3 must be negative.